Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you, and today I'm talking about Black Adam. Brand new, fresh out in theaters, the latest film in the DC Expanded Cinematic Universe, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> um, this movie is directed by Wame Klet Sarah, who previously directed films like Orphan and uh, Nonstop and Unknown, both with Liam Neeson, Nonstop, better known as Scream on a Plane. Uh... And also last year's absolutely putrid Jungle Cruise. That was horrid. A horrid motion picture. Whole set up here. Oh, this movie, by the way, stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, uh, Pierce Brosnan, Aldous Hodge, Sarah Shahai, Marwan Kanzari, and special appearances by Viola Davis, Henry Winkler, and yes, it was spoiled for everybody, so I'm not giving away spoilers here. Henry Cavill as Superman. The whole set up here is um Adam Black Adam is basically has the same powers as Shazam, Billy Batson, Captain Marvel, the real Captain Marvel. <laughs> um but he misused and abused his powers, therefore he was imprisoned by the wizards. Thousands of years later, five thousands of years later, modern day con the country of Kandak is uh, being occupied by the terrorist organization Intergang. Um, and they're looking for the crown of Sabak, which is this ancient uh, ancient uh, crown uh, that supposedly it will give whoever wears it eternal life. Uh, while try while in a battle with Intergang, a young scientist uh, or a scientist played by Sarah Shahai, Summons Black Adam, and the whole rest of the movie is Intergang, the government, and the Justice Society of America, all trying to at least get him to calm the fuck down, <laughs> while he just beats the shit out of everyone and everything in his path. Uh, look, this was straightforward, simplistic, um... It's not trying to rebuild the wheel. It's just it gives us some great Golden Age comic book characters that we have not seen on the big screen before. And Dr. Fate, Hawkman, and, uh, of course, Black Adam. And, yeah, man, this I, I had a blast. I had an absolute fucking blast. Uh, Jaiman Hanzo also uh, reprises his role as the Wizard Shazam. Um, loved it. Loved this movie. Had so much fun. It was predictable. Yes, it was, it was predictable, it was silly, and some of the humor didn't really land. But at least it wasn't pretentious. At least it wasn't openly trying to piss off its built-in audience. I thought this movie was just completely uncontroversial, completely shameless two hours of fun. And frankly, isn't that what movies are supposed to be? I'm giving Black Adam, fuck the free world, I'm giving it five stars. Five goddamn stars. Dwayne The Rock Johnson waited 15 years to play this part, and I'm not saying he's irreplaceable in the role, but look, I thought he did great. I had a lot, like I said, it's great. Such a fun movie. And by the way, Adam Smasher steals the fucking movie. But at the same time, watching this film, I can understand now. Some who's not really into comic books would get sick of the repetition of characters, you know, like, you know, you can compare Doctor you can compare Doctor Strange to Doctor Fate, you can compare Ant Man to Adam Smasher, Superman to Black Adam. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go eat my dinner. I'm Jake Davis and I'll catch you on the fly.